we're going to doodle a very special little bear now. It's Paddington. So excited about this one. So we're going to start with his hat. And it's a very kind of floppy hat. So we're going to do a shape up like this. So it starts there and goes into a curve. And it's a bit bobbly and wobbly, a bit crumply. Doing the top of the hat. Like that, that kind of shape. And then we go to the top of the hat. We just do a little line and a curve. And a line like that. So remember the hat is a very floppy hat, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Now we're going to draw his head and because he's a bear we're just going to do a little fur coming down like this okay so we're not going to draw actual lines we're just going to do little bits of fur and i'm going to draw first the top of his collar of his little duffel coat and then we'll do a face so i'm just doing a curve and a curve and then a collar. So we just do a line like that, like that. Curve, like that. So let's draw Paddington's nose. So, like a round nose like that. Two eyes. And you can do a little smile on his face. When we colour him in, he'll start to look more like Paddington. Now his little duffel coat, we're just going to do a curve down like this and a curve down like that. And we do a, a line at the bottom with a little bit of a point, like a little point in the middle. And then another line like that. Now he wears a duffel coat, so we're going to do a line that goes all the way down there. And then a duffel coat kind of has straight lines going across it like that. We have a little toggle, so we do these little shapes. One, two, they're like little rectangles. Three for his little duffel coat. Now to do his arm, it's just a curve down, like that, and then his paw, it's just a curve like that. Let's do another one, curve, and then a line, and then a curve. Okay, now his little bare feet, so we're going to do a little line coming down. And you can do it a little bit sketchy like that because he's got fur like that. He's got sort of little lines. And then do any other one. So down. And then his little leg, a bit sketchy with fur. And then his other foot with his little finger. Toes, finger toes, toes. <laughs> okay, so there we have our Paddington. Now you're welcome to do a little suitcase with P, B on, or a jar of marmalade. But I'm just going to keep it simple for you. So let's get our red and draw his hat, colour his hat rather. Oops, that colour's stopped working. This one it's a little bit redder pinker but it's still a ready colour so colouring the top of his hat I love the Paddington Bear films they are so gorgeous Right, and then I'm going to get a light brown and I'm going to start 
the outsides. I'm just going to make the outsides a little bit more, a bit wider actually for his fur. And I'm just going to lightly shade in the brown. And I'm going to go this way for his hair, this way. Get my darker brown pencil. I'm just going to go over the edges for his fur and I'm going to give him a dark brown nose like that. Maybe a bit more fur. Try to make it look like fur, like that. And we'll colour in his feet as well in the same brown. And if you want to get your dark brown again, you can go over doing like the little lines so it looks a bit more like the fur. <laughs> oh, and we need to do his little hands, his little paws, his bare paws. There we go. Let's do his lovely blue coat now and he's going to look just like Paddington Bear then. So we'll get our blue, colour in his lovely coat. You could even draw him with a plate of marmalade sandwiches, like lots and lots of them, a big tower of marmalade sandwiches. Because he, he loved eating marmalade sandwiches, they were his favourite, weren't they? There we go. Leave the toggles because we'll do those in brown. Oh, he's so cute, little Paddington. I'm going to get my brown again, my light brown. Just colouring the little toggles of his duffel coat. I might just go over my eyes, make them nice and dark for his black eyes. His little mouth. There we have our Paddington bear.